Hello and welcome. I am your brother, Hosanna David. I want to share a word of devotion with us today. Let us pray. Father Lord, we ask that through your spirit, you feed us with your word and energize us to follow you with unbeatable zeal. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to look at the love of God. The love of God. For God so loved the world that is gay, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I want us to read first John chapter four verse nineteen. We love him because he first loved us. We love him not because we actually have the natural desire, the nature to love God, but because He loves us and His love compels us to follow hard after Him even when we are tired. God is love. This is a truth that we can't deny. We were born into sin. We were born with the Adamic nature. We were born with this evil nature, the fallen nature of man. And while we are growing up, we tend towards doing evil more than doing good. Even when we know that, oh, this thing is good, we feel like not doing it. Because of the fallen nature that we were born with. But in that same nature, God loved us and drew us to himself. We, he loved us not because we are lovable, not because we deserve it, but because he is love. God is love. It is his nature to love no matter what. And God lavished his love upon us. Not because we were born righteous, not because of our goodness, not because we deserve his goodness, but because of his grace. His unmerited favor. God just lavished it upon us. This is a testimony and we have to appreciate this goodness of the Lord. When Adam and Eve fell from the grace of God, the Spirit of God left them. I mean, the glory of God left them. The amount of God's Spirit that was in them was reduced. And um, when the sons of God came and had sexual intercourse with men and gave birth to uh, hybrid people who were not pure human beings, God also said, my spirit will never strive with man again. Genesis chapter 6. The more man falls back into sin, the more God withdraws himself. But there is this compelling force. God's nature compels him like the father of the prodigal son. Even when the son took away his fortune and went away and lavished everything on uh, with prostitutes, he was still going daily to look, um, look around if the son would be coming. And the day the son came back to his senses and went back to his father, the father ran to him. He hugged him, kissed him. He ordered even before the son could say, Father, forgive me. The father was already in for forgiveness. This is how the love of God is. This story depicts the love of God for us. And it is our responsibility to make sure that we do not abuse this God's love for us. I want to read Roma, uh, Romans chapter 6. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer in it? Any longer daring. It is our responsibility to strive to respond to the love of God. If, for instance, you get you are from a humble background and you get married to a president, uh, President Donald Trump's uh, son or daughter, uh, you know that, but maybe you don't have any good education, you don't have money, you don't have the, 
the family background. I mean, you don't have anything that what this person probably you are even a cripple or a blind person. Will you respond to the love by becoming good and trying to be good even when you know that you have weakness you try to work on your weakness for instance you have anger you must definitely be compelled to work against your anger so that you bring out the best out of you after all you do not worth the partner that you were married to but now you are in love has brought both of you together so you want to put in all your efforts to make sure that oh you don't abuse this this gift of or an unmerited partner this is what i want us to do please let us do our best to make sure that the love of god is not abused by us but we should put in our efforts because we don't deserve to be loved he loved us because he is love why will we yet sin us christ died for us so shall we continue in sin the answer is no not just no but god forbid that his, he continues to pour out his grace upon people who are not ready to respond to God's grace. When next, we well, are talking about man's response to the love of God. Thank you. Share this video and subscribe. Hosanna E.E. E. David. Uh, follow me on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, and visit our website, eagleieopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. God bless you.